is she was backstage with Langhorn Slim, and uh, my first question for you is: Is that your van out um, downstairs that you're? It is, yeah. How does that make the touring experience for you? As opposed to driving in as, as, something bigger or yeah, smaller? Yeah, as opposed to having more space and things like that. Well, this is actually a big step up for us. We, we used to tour in my grandmother's Toyota Camry. So uh, a 12-passenger van seems very spacious at the moment. Yeah. Oh, wow. So well, it's good. Oh, great. Well, how's this tour been overall for you so far? It's been really good. It's been very busy. We've played nearly every night for about a month, month and a half and started out on the East Coast, headed out California and Oregon, Washington, and now in Chicago on our way back. So it's been great. Are you exhausted at this point or still there, going strong? There are days that I'm exhausted, but overall we're, we're definitely going strong. And um, you're in Chicago for a couple nights, right? We are, yeah. Um, Play so the hideout tomorrow. Okay, so is it nice for you to have very, a very time nice. in the city? Yeah, and, and we all like Chicago very much, too. And Paul, who plays bass with me, has got a lot of family here. So it makes it... Um, we had a couple of days in Milwaukee where Malachi, our drummer, where he's from. So it was nice. And now Chicago for a couple of days. And then just Pittsburgh and then back to New York. So... So then, we, then we get the rest. Yeah, oh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Is there anything in particular you like about coming to Chicago? Um, sh uh, you put me on the spot now. <laughs> well, we, we've, like I said, we've got family and, and friends and stuff like that. So, and uh, you know, the sh shows have always been, people have always been good to us so far here. So, mm -hmm. so hopefully, that'll continue. Yeah. How does it feel taking? music that you've created and um, it seems like so much of your performance history is in New York out um, to the rest of the country. Is there a difference performing it in other locations? No, not at all. I, I thought at one point that there that there would be and the first time that I ever went overseas or played for people that um, that I didn't speak the language of or didn't speak English as you know well as, you know when you're playing in America or whatever that there would be a bigger difference but I think that if you kind of if you do your thing and you, you give it your all and it's uh, you kind of lay it all out there, pe people can relate to that no matter where you're from. So I, I don't I know people say that from town to town it's different. I don't really I don't find that to necessarily be the case. Mm -hmm. Good nights and bad nights in Chicago or in New York or you know wherever. So yeah, I'm trying to find the consistent good night. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to nice. me. <laughs> Um, so many of the interviews and profiles I've read of you seem like they're very atmospheric and people start to build this whole persona about you. What do you think about your music and you as a performer inspires people to kind of create these um, fantasy um, yeah, I don't, of you? I don't know. Um, maybe if you play a certain, you know, if you're mixing different styles of music together, people want to... Um, I don't know, I guess kind of maybe categorize something or, you know, if you look a certain way, maybe try to put you in this way or that way or something. But I don't know. I, my hope is that I'm, I'm writing, you know, music that is true to me and music that I love to play and then, you know, people can say or, you know, take it from there how, however they will. So mm -hmm. I try not to get too, uh, too focused on, on that sort of stuff. Yeah. With, with the different ways that people try to categorize your music, what are the things that you feel really influence your sound? The flowers and the bees. <laughs> the wind through the trees. Um, no, I love all kinds of music. So, I mean, I grew up listening to lots of different styles of music, and my family loved music. And so, uh, I don't know. I, you know. I don't know why you write certain sorts of songs, just what feels natural or comfortable for me, so yeah. So I don't, I don't really know. Were you always um, a musician, even as a child, or is that something that you grew into more? I was always trying to entertain people, but I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I started playing guitar. I guess when I was about twelve years old, and before that, you know, I would sing and make a lot of noise, and um, always, I think, seeking some attention in one, one way or another. Yeah. So. It was good for me to find guitar and be able to, to do it in, in hopefully a, a positive way, you know, so. What were some of the other ways that you tried to entertain people before you got into music? 
Well, I don't know. You know, you, when you're younger and in school, and you know, cer certain things don't fly. So you know, you, you got into a little bit of trouble there and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to be a grown up now. Uh, you know, traveling the country and hopefully the world doing it. So. Well, I think that's about well, all that I have. Thank you, you and thank you, Shubas. I, we we uh, collectively appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Cool.